In this video, we're going to talk to you about how a property sourcer can build you a portfolio. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Adam. Uh, and I'm Jess, and we are ForTheLandlords.com. We're a letting agency, but we're also the UK's number one property sourcer, and that's what we're going to talk about today. How does a property sourcer work? What do we do? Um, what, what do you get? And the process end yeah. to end. Um, we've done this nearly 1,300 times now. The number's going, depending on when you watch this, that number will be going up and up. So, go on, Adam. Yeah. How, how does it work? So, our service, then. Our service, or, yeah. Uh, what we call finding, fixing, and then renting property for clients. It's pretty much a hands-free service. Uh, in simple terms, we sit down with you and we create an investment plan, first and foremost. Uh, then, once we've made a plan, we will actively source, renovate if required, and manage property for you. The, as I said, the service is relatively hands-free. You still have to do some admin. You have to get your limited company set up if you want to do that. You have to sign paperwork, speak to a solicitor. Mm -hmm. We put you in touch with all these people, but you'll have to do that. We will do all the heavy lifting for you. Mm -hmm. um, once I've created a plan, and I know the type of property that is best suited to you, that suits your requirements, I will introduce you. You'll place an order with me. I will introduce you to a dedicated sourcing and renovation manager. Um, and with that person and myself as an initial central point of contact, we will find you the property and be there for anything that you need. Yeah. So just you, where, where do you operate? It, it, it's the vital hotspots in the UK. Yeah. And they change. So depending on when you watch this right video. Right now we've got you're, teams yeah. and the East Midlands in Stoke-on-Trent and Crewe in a little pocket of the northwest, sort of near in the Lancashire towns there, near Manchester. Uh, I've got a team in Yorkshire, in Hull and Grimsby. I've got a team in the northeast, uh, two teams actually in the northeast, one based in Middlesbrough, covering the Tees Valley, one based in Newcastle, covering the Tyne Weir area. Mm -hmm. um, You've got it all covered. Yeah, all, the, all, all the hot spots in the, the UK spots covered, yeah. are covered. So you have that initial conversation just with Adam and Adam's team, so not introduced to anybody in the hotspots, you find out exactly what it is you want. I mean, I know the, the, the planning process, it can take 10 minutes, half an hour, yeah. getting all the information. Well, it revolves you might, around your budget, yeah. your attitude to risk, yeah. your property type preference on region, area. All noted down on your order form. Expectation on return on investment, rental yeah. income. Um, it could revolve around a a two-year, five-year plan initially, and then we'll yeah. re keep reviewing it all the time. Yeah. It's, it's going to be, a lot, hopefully, a long-term plan, but we're not going to plan for 10 years in advance today. Mm. We'll look at the first couple of years, five years maybe, and then keep reviewing it every year. Yeah. So um, there's a there's a very... Um, it's a structure course. It's a nice chat. It's, it's no obligation. Mm. You know, Probably half of all clients um, come on and then have something else to do. Solicitor mortgage broker, accountant, Adam would put you in touch with somebody like that. If you need that, you might have your own, oh, yeah. but, but that's part of the planning process. Half of the old people would you know, go away and sort something else out, something else like that. But then a, a large number of people then place an order. So yeah. you're buying your slot in the queue, you, if you like, your, your you manager's around. Oh, you join yeah. a, well, you know, I'm yeah. going to have to start a waiting list yeah, now. Yeah, wait, but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah you'll, you'll book a slot. I'll introduce you when you're ready to a dedicated sourcing and renovation manager. They yep. will actively source a house for you. Yep. That's um, the next stage. They'll yep. attend all the viewings. They well, actually, what they'll first do before they even attend any viewings, they'll be sharing potential opportunities with you that have either come to them direct through their networking or through the agents in their area, the estate agents they've, they've built relationships up with. And they'll be saying to you, right, this, I've, obviously you've met them on a call, <clears throat> I've introduced you to them, they've got your order, they know what you want, they know your budget, and they'll be saying, these two opportunities have come to me today, and I know once I get inside, it's roughly gonna cost X to renovate it, I know it'll be worth this when it's done, it'll rent for this, this would be the, probably the purchase price I can secure it for. You have to go and view it for you. Um, so you'd be working with them all the way along. Um, yeah. So yeah, get, please get in there for me. Let me know. Um, and then they will accurately cost anything that needs doing to it, provide you with the breakdown in an Excel document. They'll provide you with some comparable data 
from Right Move Plus. That's a great, great tool. Right tool. That's, that's what surveyors um, use. It's what a, yeah. a, a Rick's qualified surveyor will use exactly the same exactly. tool that these guys use to say this is what it's going to be worth at the end. It's not a guarantee, of course not, but it's a no. it's a it's a very large data set. It's pretty accurate. You're really accurate. They will provide you with lots of information on the house. You'll have the Right Move link. It was on Right Move, but mm -hmm. they'll record a video on the viewing. They'll take loads of photographs. Some people um, have in the past come up and attended the viewing um most of my clients don't have the time but if you if you have got the time please he'll they'll even do a whatsapp video call if they can yep. um there when you when yeah you, when from the there, viewing yeah yeah, yeah. Lot, um yeah. and they'll also provide a, yeah, a detailed spreadsheet with a deal stacker that shows you every single penny that it's going to cost to get you that house including our fee um stamp duty legal costs <clears throat> the renovation costs what it will be worth when it's renovated, mm -hmm. what it will be cash flowing you mm -hmm. after you've refinanced it, or if you've just you're going to hold it in cash, so you know what your return on investment is going to be. Talk about, about what you charge as well. I think you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah it varies. Yeah, varies. It but... could be anywhere from typically three thousand to twelve thousand pounds plus VAT, mm -hmm. depending on the project. Straight up single let property that needs a full renovation could be six thousand pounds plus VAT to source and manage the renovation. Mm -hmm. If it's a five or six bed. HMO conversion, 10, 12,000 pounds plus VAT. Okay. But before we've even gone and viewed the house, we'll have told you this is going to be the fee for this project. So you're factoring in all your numbers before we've even yeah. set foot in the house. Um, Interesting thing there. Well, so you that, know you can get yes, yeah. very quickly. That, that's yeah. really, really Because really you important. have to be quick. Adam talks about what yeah. we call a, a deal stacker. So an Excel document with all of the list of things in it. And of course, the fee would be in there in amongst solicitors, um, stamp duty, all those fees. And when we talk about a deal stacking, in inverted commas, it works, it, our fees included. So by yeah. the time we've got a reduction in the purchase price, renovated or any works that needed doing and, and figured that number out, we'll have got a reduction in what um, the typical buyer would have done. The fee is covered. It has to stack, yeah. including Adam's fee. Exactly. So don't, don't get too um, hung up on fees. We're fee. also gonna introduce you to solicitors for the conveyancing. Mm. Um, a, a Rick surveyor, if you want a, uh, an independent survey as part of the purchase, we can put you in touch with um, a dedicated mortgage broker, buy to let specialist mortgage broker, a property accountant, um, all the wider team that you need um, to help you make sure you do it all properly. Yeah. Um, so that's, you found the house, it's gone through conveyancing, legal completion happens, you get the keys, you get mm -hmm. handed over. The first thing to do then is get into the house and get it ready for rent. So it could be a, a, a wipe over and a new carpet, yeah. maybe a few compliance yeah, yeah, items, yeah, yeah. you know, gas certificate, make sure the electrical EICR is done um, and, and, and you know, no trip hazards, whatever it is. Uh, so it's compliant, ready, ready, ready to rent, or it could be an absolute yeah. you know, back to brick, so new roof, central heating, could the, be anything. The day itself could be, or the next day. We will collect the keys, take meter readings. You will need to set the uh, utilities up in your name and the council mm -hmm. tax in your name, so you'll need meter readings for that. Yep. Just for the period of the renovation. Yep. We've got, we got a how-to guide on that, we we'll send it to yeah, you. Yeah, yep. they'll be switched to the tenant. Then uh, the sourcing renovation manager will um, basically contract the builder to do the renovation, and there'll be a contract between yourself and them. We will then, as a managing agent, manage that <coughs> process. You will receive a weekly video update narrated with the progress each week uh, if there's been any issues on site if there's been any delays if there may be a, a con we, we tell clients to to you know expect to spend a small contingency on maybe it could be anywhere up to three thousand pounds but no more to budget for that there might be a 500 pound contingency spend that week it would be explained mm -hmm. to you um, in a narrated video yeah um, and if you ever want to visit um, please it's, it will be your house so mm -hmm. um, Gladly they will meet you there, meet the builders, um, and, and see the work for yourself. Um, yeah, the builder, this is really important. Mm. So the, the contract to the builder for the renovation will be paid in stages throughout the renovation. However, only on completion of each stage will the builder receive you any mean funds. No, so no money up front ever no, goes to the builder. To the builder, no yeah. money to get the job That's started, really materials, important. anything like that. The builder will fund the job and then we will inspect and sign off each stage. Um, and you will have access to a live budget sheet. Um, it's called a milestones, project milestone sheet. So you will be seeing, oh yeah, I can see stage one was paid. I can mm. see it's gone out. 
brilliant. I can see what's left of my on my account. I've got the link there for the video. Click that. It's on our renovation channel on YouTube. And you constantly, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a new process we put in because we're always trying to refine everything. Yeah. Um, that is a common mistake that landlords, anybody renovating a property yeah. would make. Overpaying a builder and you get yourself in a situation where there's more money gone out than work's been done. We Or the builder's disappeared well, and yeah, then you've yeah. paid him some money and then, and then you can't get him back. Yeah. Um, so, if we've had to ever in the past um, replace a builder. Which has happened. It's happened. happened. It hasn't. Yeah. Time, Touch cost wood, and quality. One time. of those things went, yeah. went, went awry. So we have so, to take that builder off and put him back in. But the money's on account for yeah. the new build. So that's really nice. Yep. Um, I think we've covered all the main parts have, there. Yeah. So you've now got a property that you found it. It's the right property. You got it through the legal process. You bought it. You renovate it. It's ready to move in. Um, you've got to rent it and you've got to manage it forever. Yeah. Like forever. Yeah, exactly. This is the most important bit. So this is the beautiful yeah. thing. So a normal property sourcer might just find you the house. Then they might give you, on sale completion, uh, some contacts that they know in the area who might be able to do some work for you on it. We've done that, all that for you already. And now we can manage it. So when that property, if it's in a renovation, once it's in the snagging phase, we'll get it online, get it on the market, start doing viewings. Once we've found you a tenant, we'll be credit checking them, referencing them, putting all the perfect paperwork together, arranging a move in, and then moving that tenant in. Um, you would then at that point, <coughs> basically receive a handover pack uh, that has all your certification in, all your compliance documents, uh, and a detailed breakdown of what took place in the renovation, mm -hmm. all your warranty dates on the renovation work, and will hand you over to a dedicated property manager, a person within the lettings team who will then be your dedicated point of contact for anything going forward. So <clears throat> you might need to arrange a mortgage survey in two or three months time, or you might have a question about something on your, your rental statement. You know, I contact that okay. person yeah. for any questions I may have. And <clears throat> when you're ready for your next house, come back to myself, your, renovation, your sourcing renovation manager, and then we can repeat the process. Yeah. Um, I think one thing I do want to mention is, and I think this is why anyone should use a letting agent, um, we have an incredibly low arrears rate. So um, we manage, I don't know, 1,000 properties or what have you, but the arrears rate is like 0.01% yeah, or something. Yeah. It's ludicrous. Um, Get so, yourself a good partner for that. Yeah. So, so we're, yeah. again, I'm biased. I own a letting agency, but getting a good letting agency will pay dividends. You pay them a little bit of money, but they will save you or make you more than they cost by making sure that markets all, all, properties always rented at market rent, mm -hmm. voids are low, maintenance costs are less than you could sort them out yourself. That's, that's the pound shillings and pence money thing. But of course, then they're looking after everything and you've got your head clear to concentrate on life, your life, friends, family, work, whatever else it is. And actually, and this is a big thing in, in my mind, when I got a managing agent, you then get the chance to think about the next property. Yep. I'm convinced the thing that holds the average landlord back from buying the next house and the next house, the average landlord in the UK does not own two houses. It's one and a bit. It, the thing that's holding people back is the hassle factor because they're trying to yeah, manage themselves. Exactly. 80% of landlords manage themselves. So it's getting Get an agent, say, they'll buy more. Our service basically will build you a high yielding property portfolio in the Midlands or the north of England without you needing to leave the area in which you live. It might be down the south of England, you might be living in another country. We can do it all for you. Uh, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. So yeah. how do people get in touch? How do people start that initial can, plan and then put their name on a waiting list to place the order? Follow, follow the link in the description. Yep. Um, it takes you to my calendar. You can book a call at a time that suits you. Yep. Um, I'll answer all the questions you've got and we can look at you know creating that investment plan and booking an order slot for you. Yep. Um, Depending yeah. where you're watching it, there's a there's a link in the description. There's the blue talk to us button on our website. So if you're watching it on one of the social medias, it'll be a link that will take you to a similar place. You know, not everything's quite the same, but yeah, yeah thanks there for going through that. Right. Then. Cheers. Hope that was useful for you. Yeah, like and subscribe if it was. <laughs>